Sitting on her front porch in the early morning breeze. Sitting on her front porch, just an old friend and me. Drink a little coffee, read all the local news, talk a little gossip every now and then. Smell that ham cooking in the kitchen. A brand new sunrise in the sky. Sitting on a front porch, minding all your business. What a way to make the day go by. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, good morning and welcome to the Front Porch. It is the first day of winter, the shortest day of the year. My name's Kenny Dean and it is Daylight Donuts time. Sereth and Son. Where are y'all this morning? Well, I know, see, they don't open the, the, the new location on Airport Drive to 10 o'clock, so they're at downtown Alexander City. They were there when I came by this morning. Good morning, I'm Terry Mitchell. It's great to be with you. And KD's right, first day of winter. And look, in about uh, 48 hours, it's going to feel like winter. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, weather in just a little bit because it's, uh, it's going to be a chilly, chilly uh, forecast. But right now, let's warm you up. Reverend Ben Hayes from the First Baptist Church in beautiful downtown Dadeville, Alabama. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my friend. It is a good morning, I'll tell you that. Well, i tell you, yesterday was just a, as my mom used to say, just a blustery day. It was just nasty it yesterday. It sure was. It was. I, I got to tell you a little secret about our office. The, uh, the thermostat is in our secretary's office, and so what <laughs> she does is she has a little heater under her desk. Oh, yeah. So she turns that heater on, and so it never gets uh, cool enough for the heat to come on in her office. <laughs> I mean, it stays about 60 degrees in my office. So I freeze to death, and so it was it was blustery inside and out. <laughs> I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. What's on your plans for the day, first day of winter? Well, we've got our men's Bible study at 10 o'clock this morning. We've got a group of about 12 uh, to 14 men that, that come together every Wednesday, and uh, we study the Word of God and have a great time doing it. We'd love to have anybody come and join us if they want it. And then this evening, <coughs> excuse me, this evening we've got Christmas caroling. We're uh, going to brave the cold weather, and uh, we're going to hit some of our uh, elderly members and homebound members and just uh, sing some Christmas carols. So Brother Charlie has been teaching a group of our young people how to play the guitar, and oh, so wow. they're going to take their guitars and uh, accompany us as we do Christmas caroling. So I'm excited about today. Well, and, and you should be. Charlie Cockendale has been a great fit uh, for y'all and uh, getting those uh, young folks involved and in playing instruments. And he, he he's finding talents that maybe nobody else had found in them. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you what, uh, Charlie is a great guy. Um, he, uh, our sanctuary choir did their Christmas music Sunday night at the, the full choir loft. And I'm going to tell you what, I've never, in, in a church our size, I've never seen a production like that. And, and uh, Charlie just does a fantastic job, and all the folks have worked to make it happen. I'm just so proud of them. I, you know, it, it, it really blesses my heart. Well, it's just nothing like great music, uh, no matter what time of the year, and especially, especially this time of the year. Uh, well, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear all these real uh, positive things at your church, and it just fits with everything else that's going on over in Dable. Yeah, I tell you, we're excited about uh, what God is doing to the church, and we're just looking forward to a, a great year in Dable. Uh, praying for the city, praying for the community, and just trusting the Lord to do amazing things. Well, but he, he's already done it, uh, and he, he, yep. he's uh, blessed us to, for you to uh, join us this morning for the Thought of the Day, and, and we'll turn it over to you uh, right now, my friend. All right. Well, we're talking about Christmas, and, of course, yesterday we talked about uh, Mary and the, the mother of Jesus and how difficult it was for her as she was uh, challenged to, to become the mother of the Son of God and, and just uh, how, how, how much she, she had to have struggled 
with the decision to, to go forward with this. But because of her trust in God, she was obedient to him in spite of the, the, the consequences that popped up. And then there's also Joseph. And, and I guess Joseph has to be kind of my hero in this whole story because, uh, you know, Joseph's just a simple carpenter. And, and all of a sudden he finds out that Mary is, is pregnant and uh, he could have he could have taken it public. He could have uh, had her uh, publicly ridiculed, probably even stoned to death for for uh, committing adultery. And uh, but he did. He he loved her, and so he decided that he was just going to put her away quietly, divorce her because that's what was required when uh, someone was betrothed back in those days. And uh, he made that decision. And only then did the the angel of the Lord come and speak to him and tell him what was really going on. Because we don't know how he found out that Mary was praying. Maybe she wouldn't talk to him, but we don't know. But the angel came and said, hey, don't be afraid. This is this is the Son of God that we're talking about here. And uh, you've been chosen to be his earthly father. And uh, Joseph just amazes me because he accepted it. He, he embraced it. And we don't hear a lot about him. But I, I just can't wait to get to heaven one day and, and talk to him about that decision. Because it was it, it, it had to be tough for him. Um, the word that's used there talks about these conflicting desires because obviously he loved Mary, wanted the best for her, but through it all, he was obedient as well in spite of the consequences. You know, the, the truth of the matter is for, for believers, obedience to God is, is rarely easy and it's seldom convenient. God uh, always calls on us to do things that go beyond our comfort zone, that uh, take us away from family and friends, that that uh, calls us to do things that the world just looks at and says, I, I don't understand why you're doing that. But when we decide to obey, it's an attitude of the heart that says, I'm going to do what God's called me to do. But it's, it's also an attitude that's combined with an action, and that action is faith. And, and that's what we need today in this world. If we want to make a difference, we've got to, to have that attitude that says, yes, Lord, but that willingness to act on faith and say, no matter how difficult it seems, I'm going to do it. And that's what Mary and Joseph did. And that's that's one of the amazing things about the Christmas story. So, Father, today as we pray, we pray for everyone who's watching, everyone who's listening. And we simply ask, Lord, that you would help us to be obedient to you. Give us a heart to believe and, and a willingness to act out on our belief, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like, like you. Jo jo Joseph was a, a hero. Uh, he was yeah. a... You know, and, and, and the the Lord gave him a an op he he gave them you gotta make your own mind up right now. Do you wanna live with this lady? You wanna have this child and and it, and I, I don't think I've ever heard anything other than you know, there was never a doubt he 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 would he would. Yeah. He was he was uh, he was something, I will tell you. And uh I, I can't wait to to get with him in heaven and, and just talk to him about it, because that's got to be one of the, the toughest decisions a man could ever make. Oh, sure, sure. And, and probably more so back then, uh, even today. Even today, you're talking about a 21-year-old, a 14-year-old, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, no, you said he was 30, 30 years old. Yeah, he would have been around 30. Wow. That's a... Uh, that's that's something like Jerry Lee Lewis did uh, several several years ago, but I, I sure don't want to compare him. Jerry Lee in that I sure don't want to compare him with. Yeah, well, buddy. Not, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, tomorrow, uh, of course, will be our Thursday and Friday show. So if you can join us at six and eight uh, twenty to wrap ha to wrap this week up, we sure would appreciate it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Why did I say that? Yeah, I don't know. You, <laughs> I mean, golly. Ready to jump in there and try to bail you out. Lord have mercy. Randy Anderson is going to be with us this I'm morning. I'm looking forward to seeing Randy as he's driving in from Cowpens. Cowpens. I went by Cowpens uh, twice yesterday, going to Ashland and coming back from Ashland, and it was nasty. David, uh, Judge David Law will be with us today uh, with uh, Mr. Burdett. Burdett. Uh, Clay County Joe. Clay County guy. Uh, so looking forward to talking with those guys. It's always a oh, they'll treat. They'll be with us for an hour this morning. Yeah, yeah. And that um, won't be enough time when you get those two together. And then we also uh, will uh, talk about a lady when we come back after the uh, commercial break, after the uh, weather. That She's turns special to both of us. Ninety-nine years old today. We got a beautiful picture of. We're going to ninety-nine years young. We're going to save that. Hey, let's talk about the weather right now because it is in. Uh, in fact, 
We're under a, a freeze watch right now. Um, it's 41 right now. A uh, freeze watch, hard freeze has been issued uh, for late Thursday night through Sunday morning. Uh, sub, uh, uh, sub freezing temperatures as low as 5 to 12 degrees will be possible in northern portions and uh, or so, so in, in central um, Alabama. Folks, it's just going to be cold, and that's just, uh, and, and then you got to figure in the wind chill factor. It could bring it down between zero and 10 degrees. That's cold anywhere. That's but really us, cold. It's real cold. 54 for a high today, really no rain to speak of going into the night. It will change start. 42 again, a still pleasant night for this time of the year. First day of uh, um, winter. Uh, 20, uh, 54 and 18 to Martin. Now, the chance of rain has gone I'm way really down. I'm really glad to see that. It's gone from a, a 70 to a 60, now it's down to 20. 20. That's real, real good. And it's going to be cold, but uh, and it's going to be very windy, but we can we can live with that. Well, I hope we can. We 24 can. and 12 Friday, Christmas Eve, 30 and 17. Uh, Christmas Day, 36 and 21, and then uh, Monday, 42 and 27. So we've got one, two, three, four. I know we've got about five or six days at nighttime below freezing. So there's your five-day forecast brought to you by Alex City Marine. They're located on Cherokee Road, wishing each and every one of you a merry, merry Christmas. Tell me about that. Let me tell you something. Uh, we're about to run out of uh, time to probably ring the bell. But I know it's been a good year. It's been a year. great year for bell ringers, and we really appreciate you stepping up and, and offering your time and assistance with the Salvation Army. You have been doing the most good for the most people as we start into the 2023 season. There will be many more opportunities for you to help a lot of people. Thanks again. On behalf of the Salvation Army, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Gillsopalika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at Gillsopalika.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opalika. Farmers and Merchants Bank of Dadeville is building a foundation of strength and trust in the entire Lake Martin community. With our modern branch in Dadeville and caring, attentive staff, we've established Farmers and Merchants Bank as a reliable friend to your banking needs. Whether it's just a savings or checking account or any commercial auto or real estate loan, Farmers has local decision-making to build a relationship with you and your needs. Farmers and Merchants Community Bank. Strength. Service. Community. Lake Mark Garage, located on Highway 280 in Jackson's Gap, has been serving our area since 1993. From routine maintenance such as oil changes, tune-ups, and rotating and balancing your tires, to transmission and engine repair, our trained and certified mechanics will get you back on the road better than before. Need a tow? With a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week towing service, Lake Mark Garage has local and long-range pickup. Trust your vehicle needs to the professionals at Lake Mark Garage. Call 256-825-6139, or better yet, stop in and see them today. Lake Mark Garage. Adams Health and Rehab in Alexander City helps you get back to life faster. When you need the best rehabilitative care following surgery, a stroke, or heart attack, Adams Health and Rehab offers a comfortable, home-like atmosphere, private suites with phone and flat screen, even a secure Alzheimer's dementia unit, and highly skilled 24-hour nursing care. Adams Health and Rehab is here for you by helping you get back to life. Adams Health and Rehab, 256-329-0847. Floyd's Feed and Sea covers both sides of the road in downtown Dable. Incredible selection of plants, stones, insecticides, and gift selection in the additional part. Our original store has tack and boots for men, women, and children, gloves, hats, belts, and Carhartt clothing. Come on in and visit. Open Monday through Saturday for your convenience with a whole lot of service. Floyd's Feed and Sea, downtown Dable, Alabama. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and social security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. 
Gills Opelika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at Gills Opelika.info for a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than Who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Tell you what, Tallapoosa County Tourism has been the, one of the best additions to this area. It's not like it was created because it's been here all these years. We, we've had the hiking, the biking trails, the, the zip lines have been added at Wind Creek State Park. The, and, and that's just, I'm just naming just a few things, but bird watching. Bird watching has been around for a long, long, long time. So Tallapoosa County Tourism, thank you for what you do for so many people around this area. Sandra Fuller, good morning to you. Good morning. You gotta get Sandra out here she again was out real here soon. In fact, there were some there was some candy here from yesterday that oh, she yeah. brought when yeah, the suckers. I, yeah. She got them off of our free candy out here and brought oh, yeah. them out here to give them to us. Oh, good morning, Sandra. Hope you're doing well and hope you're ready for Santa Claus. We were talking about a young lady that's turning ninety nine years old today. I've been knowing her for many, many, many uh, years. Uh, uh, she and her hus late husband, uh, Mr. Aubrey, grew up or, or had a house down in one of my favorite uh, areas in the Flint Hill community uh, area. Right next to the church, if yeah, I remember exactly. correctly. Right across, right across yeah. from the church. Uh, but and, and she, you know, it's <clears> amazing <throat> how people don't age. And Miss Lois Stevens right here, look at there. My Happy birthday. My goodness alive. She's still active. Uh, and let me tell you what. Got two absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, daughters. And uh, granddaughters. Yeah, and granddaughters. You're, you're right. Yeah. Pretty just runs in the family. Uh, and and I, I miss, of course, we, we lost Buzzy Wagonfuhrer and just my, one of my buddies. And I, I've told this before, but I, I used to love to be out getting my walk in downtown, where, wherever. Now, all of a sudden, a car comes driving up next to me. And it'd be, <laughs> it'd be my buddy. He'd be escorting the girls. That's right. Uh, and, but she is uh, a sweetheart. Um, Miss Lois uh, Stevens. We hope this is one of the, the happiest birthdays ever, and can't wait to celebrate number one hundred one year from today. And she and her husband did my wedding photo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he he loved to fish. Mr. Aubrey loved to fish, and he was just cool. He just. Uh, Kind of like his uh, a lovely, lovely wife right That's there. That's right. Yeah, that was uh, very special. Great family, all of them. I was uh, uh, telling you that uh, Ellen Dean has officially, finally uh, finished the uh, Christmas tree. Uh, well, put, it took a lot of pressure off me. I've been worried about that. Put lights on it. Finally finished last night. But she had a lot of uh, good uh, help. Fitz loves just coming over. That's, uh, you know, I, I've been told not to call him WW anymore. And I told Maggie, I said, you know, that's what I've been calling him for three years. And a lot of folks, that's all they're going to know him by. So I'm not ever going to correct anybody. Uh, but uh, Calvin Fitzgerald uh, Whaley uh, helped her with the, the lights uh, last night. He he, 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 he gotten bad about just popping over uh, and, um, uh, and, and, and his mom and daddy not knowing anything about it. Uh, but, uh, buddy, happy birthday to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine, girl. How Good you doing? Good morning. Today? 
I'm blessed, blessed. I hadn't talked to you in a while, so I just had to touch base with you. Yes, ma'am. What color you wearing for the cold today, hat and coat? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I know you. Hey, you're always matching. We're going to have a fashion show one day. We're going to have the hat. And you put your suit or whatever you want to put on. It's just a showcase. How about that? All right, we can do that. Yeah. I was just calling, thanking you all for what you all are doing. And I want to do a shout-out to Chapman's Nursing uh, Facility, yes, Adams Nursing Facility, yes, and Brown's Nursing Facilities, and all of those that are shut in because, you know, it's cold. And we're this is the time of year that people open up their hearts and you know, the love of God and the love of people. And prayerfully, families are coming together and uh, enjoy one another. And it's also time with the plagues that's going on, the sickness and diseases. So right. I wanted to shout out to my cousin and um, two, I got two cousins at Brown, um, not Browns. I got Miss Bobbinell Brown at Brown. We want you all to pray for her. And uh, also uh, my cousins, uh, Miss Yvonne Hunter and Miss Doris Strong, and all of the other family members up there, uh, Mr. A.J. Jones, prayer for him and his his wife, Miss Jackie, um, and I'm trying to see who else is up there, Miss Catherine uh, Owens, mm -hmm. and there's so many other people in the nursing home. Over at Adams, want to pray, asking everybody to uh, encourage um, Miss uh, Linda Campbell and Miss Linda Jackson, and it's just so many. I meet so many people, and they just become my friends. And I thank you, Miss Ken, and everybody for what you do. Keep doing it. You all stay cold and keep your hearts open. No matter how cold it gets, always have an open heart. That somewhere somebody can feel the love and see compassion in uh, human beings because we are still humans. So take care of yourself, and thank you so much, and God bless Thank you, Teresa. Thank Mother you, Mother. Teresa. And Merry Christmas to you. You too. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank all of you. Yes, Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, you know, that's a great time. Um, thanks, Teresa, for calling. It's a great time to remind everyone. She did a great job reminding the, of the people in the nursing home and the facilities. But, Kenny, we were talking earlier about it's going to be chilly, so you need to take care of your, your friends. Your, take care of the people, the pets, the pipes, and the plants, and check on your friends and the elderly around your community. Make sure everybody's doing okay. Yeah, uh, looking forward to that. Hey, Jason Brands will join us oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, the sure. And I, I knew, because we've been looking at some, it's going to be cold, but anyhow, he'll add some things that we're not. But it'll be uh, dry and cold, it looks like right now. Yeah. I'm hey, glad of that. Uh, uh, they didn't have the sign on the fire truck uh, yesterday, but uh, it will uh, be rolling today, and, it, and they start at 1030. Uh, First Baptist Church Daycare, uh, Harvard Learning Academy, El Catchy Road, the Warren Circle, Trailblazers, that's at Sportplex, uh, Cross Creek Neighborhood, uh, Spring Hill Neighborhood, Robinson Road, Stepping Stones Learning Center, Washington Street, Widge, not Widgeway, Ridgeway, <laughs> Lafayette Street, your, yeah, there you yeah, go. La, 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 Lafayette Street, and College Heights, um, and uh, Sp Sportplex. Uh, Boulevard final drive through. So uh, there's your lineup. That and we talked about it a little bit yesterday, Kenny. If, if you're out, uh, if you're one of the, the kids that's out on the curb, don't jump off the no. curb and run up to the fire no. truck. They've assured Kenny and I that everyone there will receive a gift. So just be careful and don't make it extremely exciting for anybody. Hey, Atlanta from Atlanta is, uh, you know, she's got the uh, uh, restaurant in downtown Alexander City inside the square, but she's also got a trailer. Uh, that's had a trailer down at uh, Wind Creek State Park entrance. You will be moving uh, next month, um, still on 63, right up from there, to Sunrise Docks. That's a new business uh, opening, uh, opening. So I'm uh, looking forward to uh, going by there. I love to eat at uh, Atlanta. It's in Atlanta. Uh, and thank she'll you. still be in the square, too. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> hey, Freddie Hart, we lost him back four years ago. Uh, at 91, but he's old uh, Alabama boy, Loach Polka. Polka, Alabama, that's uh, right. Easy loving. loving. Uh, Leroy Parnell's turned six, 66 today from Abilene, Texas. And Tiffany Quillen <coughs> and Prez <coughs> Jenkins uh, up at uh, Welburn. Enjoyed meeting with y'all yesterday. Uh, Prez is a, uh, an Alexander City uh, boy. He works with HR and marketing uh, up there. They employ 1,400 folks. In Clay County? Yeah, yeah. Wow. At, at, there at that, that's a at lot. There at that yeah, plant. that's bigger They're, than 
they're she running bigger three, than I thought it they're was. They're running three shifts right now. They just had a third shift a while back. Uh, but when we talk about cabinets, they make a, anywhere from a low end to a to high, high end. end ship them all over the United it's a huge States. Huge business. Huge uh, business. But to, I didn't get a chance to see Mr. Paul, but they're going to be a, a sponsor of the front porch for 2023. And we're, we're doing like so many folks, and, and I'll go ahead and offer this to you if you're interested in advertising. If you have a business, uh, I, we'd love to have people come out here with those businesses. Sure. Uh, and, and talk and about what you we do. We will start getting to meet a lot of the employees of uh, Welburn. Uh, and looking, well, that's looking a good idea. That. I mean, it's just good uh, idea. we've talked about We do about that for it. others. Yeah, and, and we, so yeah. so that's something we're really going to be uh, working on uh, for 2023. So just just keep that in mind if you've got a business. Uh, uh, give me a holler, and I know this time of the year. I hate to even bring up advertising this well, time. Well, we got to get ready for 2023. Yeah. And if you're in business, you know you're not thinking about right now. You're thinking about the future. So yeah. That's what they're. Hey, you're talking about Clay County just a few minutes ago. Happy birthday to a good friend of mine up in Clay County, Greg Varner's having a birthday today. Happy birthday, buddy. He's a practices law in Clay County, and he's a good friend of Judge Law, who will be with us later on this oh, morning. Oh boy, that's gonna be a hoot this morning. <laughs> hey, this is a uh, last day to order. <clears throat> Christmas and New Year's will be tomorrow and Friday. Pick up by five o'clock. I'm talking about a uh, fire truck barbecue downtown Alexander City. So just keep that uh, in, in mind. Uh, don't forget about next month. Uh, throwaway days will be uh, the latter part of January. Uh, we'll be talking about those to remind you where those are. And we'll probably get one of the commissioners uh, out here. Uh, Commissioner McKelvey was out uh, yeah. a while back, and he talked I about it. Him. And he, he, why don't we get him back or a couple of the others out here as well? <clears throat> hey, if you've already done it, we appreciate it. If you haven't done it, go ahead and do it. you got a couple of days. What am I talking about? Yeah. How about the, the wish list for the Bill Nichols uh, holiday wish list. Give them a call at 256-329-0868 and find out what else they need. Go buy help a veteran. How about Danny Hayes? Oh, man, that was fun yesterday. Danny Hayes, <clears throat> he hung around after the show yesterday, and he had a uh, gave me an invoice uh, that he had bought a trailer for my dad. He had the invoice where dad signed it and everything. But just little things like that. It, that went in my office. He did the same thing yeah, uh, he had, for you, uh, yeah, too. He did it. I've got one of the 45s over there. Uh, here come the judge, and I think the flip side was the trial. I don't remember ever hearing the trial. But he had but some, uh, so, uh, some he pictures. Had some, uh, he had some Christmas cards I sent out, and I sent them to his mom and dad. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back uh, with Mr. Randy Anderson. Strickland Watts. Let me just tell you something. My wife went by Strickland Watts yesterday. She's a big fan of uh, their biscuits, but she's also a big fan of uh, John Strickland. John's just a, um, a big part of this community. He and his lovely wife, Elizabeth, have been for a long time. And you're talking about somebody that loves what he does, is making people feel welcome at Strickland Watts. Go by and see for yourself, Dave. Grab you a biscuit, too. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. 
We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. I'm Jimmy Gorey with Gorey's Furniture. We would like to invite you to come shop our huge selection of furniture. But if you don't have time, we have over 2,000 items you can have shipped directly to your home. Go to goreesfurniture.com, look for 40 hour quick ship. Shop, click, ship, just that easy. You can shop us here or you can shop us online only at Gorey's Furniture. Your express way to save me. So, you finally got the boat, ATV, or side-by-side -side of your dreams, huh? But make it yours with marine-grade audio that'll provide crisp, high-quality sound that's loud enough to be heard, whether you're cruising on the lake or hitting a mud hole. Come see Steve at the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn, so you'll be ready to crank up the volume. Whoa, but wait, you don't have to pull out of the water and trailer it to Auburn. The Car Stereo Shop can handle all of your work at any one of the Lake Martin Marinas. The Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, call 256-329-6736. Hi, I'm Scott Blake. I'm Angie Richardson, and we are the loan team here at Movement Mortgage. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or you've gone through the process before, our mission is to help you move forward with the purchase of your future plans. Call me at 256-397-2771. Or call me at 256-794-1003. Scott Blake, NMLS number 527945. Angie Richardson, NMLS number 216556. Movement Mortgage supports equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 39179. For licensing information, please visit NMLS Consumer Access. Are you or someone you know homebound, need physical, occupational, or speech therapy? Would you benefit from a skilled nurse or home care aide? Then Ivy Creek Home Health of Lake Martin is there for you. Serving eight counties with two locations in Alexander City and Dable. Ivy Creek Home Health makes a difference because we care. Give us a call today at 256-397-1440 or 256-825-7050 so we can make a difference in your life. Six thirty on a for the first day of winter, forty one degrees outside. Time temperature is brought to you by Farmers and Merchants uh, Banks with branches all over the place, and this will probably be the last time we get to talk to him this year because the man is fixing to be real busy. Santa on the phone right now. Good morning, Santa. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, fellas in the city. How are y'all doing, KD and Terry? Hey, Santa, how you doing? Doing outstanding. We're up here full speed ahead. Everything's jumping, gear risky. We got a 40 below temp up here in the North Pole, and we are excited. Three days away. Believe it or not. What time are you going to leave out, Santa? Oh, oh, that's always a secret. You know, we can't, oh, okay. we can't give out our flight. No, no. Uh, flight that's there. all right. We'll be tracking you. Yeah. I, you know, uh, that's, that's something I've yeah, always... Everybody can see me on NORAD, uh, Santa NORAD, so they can, they can track me all through traveling through. Yeah, that's something I've always enjoyed uh, is tracking Santa because uh, you've got a lot of miles to put in, and you've been mighty kind to be with us uh, uh, many, many times uh, this year, and we appreciate it too. So. Well, you know, Alexander City is one of my favorite towns, and you and uh, Judge is one, two of my favorite people. Well, buddy. So I enjoy coming down and visiting, and uh, but I wanted to call and wish everyone a Merry Christmas down there, and please stay warm and be safe with this cold weather coming in. Exactly right. Merry Christmas to you and Miss Mrs. Claus, and to all the the elves, and to their families and your family. We shall pass along. Merry Christmas, Alexander City. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Always good to hear from oh, Santa. Yeah, we 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 got. We had the man on the phone. Then we got the man right here from uh, from Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. 
Mr. Randy Anderson. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Merry to Christmas. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Yeah, I'm Merry great. Christmas. I'm great. Yeah. We, were, we were talking about, about Danny Hayes being with us yesterday, but he brought up something that I had never heard is Duncan's son, Mortuary. Right. Uh, it was, I think it may have been one of the first in Alexander yeah. City. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, Mr. Radney and his family opened up in the furniture store next door to them in 1938. Well, see, I knew they, yeah. they were there, but I never yeah. knew Duncan's son. And uh, they, they shared a horse-drawn hearse. Uh, I searched for that horse-drawn hearse. I found it. It uh, uh, supposedly was in a barn that ca caved in on it. Oh, and I'll it was, be uh, darned. I, I was hoping to get it and restore it. But oh, that, man. Uh, that fell through when the barn fell in. I'll you know, be so, darned. You know, uh, uh, Bringing up there, people that have done that. I know when we were out west, we saw an old um, uh, carriage, uh, that uh, old, old uh, wagon that was a, a, a doctor's that he made his calls in, right. and they had enough way back when to put it in a barn that didn't get caved in. Right. But it, and they restored it, and it was in great oh, yeah. shape. It was, shape. It was one of the hotels we stayed in out there. Yeah, there's a lot I'd of pretty doing. old. Uh, horse-drawn hearses uh, that I've, really? I've looked at through the years yeah. and just couldn't afford to buy. You oh, know? really? Yeah. Okay, they got they, a nice price. They got on. nice prices on them. So. Do you ever yeah. use Johnny Harris over in We do, Street? yeah. We've used Johnny him Don. several times, he, yeah. He so, has a nice, uh, has a good business with he it. He does. Our, our problem is we're, we're too far from most of the cemeteries for it to be feasible because yeah. it takes... Uh, uh, to go about three miles, it takes a good hour, you know, with the Ooh, horse yeah. drawn hearse. So, oh, really? But, uh, okay. Who thought so, about that? Yeah. It, uh, it's a slow go, but it's it's really pretty, and Johnny does a, a great job of so you, taking I'm care sorry, of it. So you have done some? Yeah, we have. Uh, okay. We've done okay. some, yeah. Is that one of the more unusual? It's not, you know, uh, out, out in the country, you know. Yeah. The farmers like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, outdoorsmen yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. and, uh uh, but it, it's just, uh, you know, like to go from our place to Hillview, is, yeah. is it, it would take an hour almost yeah, to get yeah, there. Yeah. So then that blocks traffic downtown, and, yeah. and uh, our men in blue don't like that, and let, women in blue let me <laughs> don't ask you like this. that too much. Let so. me ask you this. Are we a pretty respectful town as far as pulling over? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah, okay. Absolutely. It, uh, uh, we still have funeral processions. A lot of people have... Uh, abolish those but uh alexander city still does that yeah, and we appreciate good. our mayor and our police department uh, yeah. and our city workers helping us uh, get that done to pay respects to our families i know we've talked about this before randy but i don't think we realize because we attend a funeral we attend the visitation we attend the uh, getting in the uh, funeral procession we don't realize the com uh, communicating that y'all have to do with our yeah. police department because right. you never know what to expect. Right, yeah, we we uh, uh, try to give them notice 24 hours ahead of yeah. time when we're going to need them. And, uh, you know, of course, there are times when they get out on emergency calls and they take precedence, and right. we understand sure. that, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and families understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had to try to go it alone uh, sometimes. And, uh, Is it tough? Uh, it's tough because we... we uh, we take our time and try to block intersections, but you know they don't pay attention to us like they like do they that do. blue like light, light going through. Yeah. Some people don't pay attention to that blue light, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I would think to. people that have just moved in here. We talk about this every day, seems like, uh, from all over the United States. Maybe not out of disrespect, but they're just not yeah. familiar. They just don't know what yeah. we do. Maybe where they moved right. from. It's not part of their culture exactly. or their right. tradition. And yeah. we've had that to happen. Yeah. You know, people who who come in here from out of, out of state or out of country, yeah. you know, not mm -hmm. familiar with the mm -hmm. with the procedures and and but they learn quickly and, yeah. and they see what others are doing and they do it as well. Yeah, and you know, right. and that being said, I would always. Uh, issue caution to people meeting funeral processions don't stop in a place that's dangerous you know yeah, yeah, move, yeah. move on to yeah. the place where it's the safest because yeah. you don't want somebody topping the hill and hitting you you know so well, uh, it, uh, but, it's the uh, same thing with our uh, police department or fire department uh, pull over in the safe place right, absolutely when yeah. they're when they're blowing by and we see them oh, yeah. you know a lot every day and we appreciate the, the job you guys and gals do but uh, we, we got a video that you've sent us. Uh, yeah. uh, we want to show that right now. This yeah. is uh, something that you're mighty proud yeah. of. I'm very proud of this. We, uh, uh, across the country, we're having uh, problems filling positions in funeral homes. Right now, knock on wood, I have a full staff. Wow. So, but uh, uh, others that would like to see this is, uh, you know, other uh, funeral homes, and it encourages people to, to consider funeral services yeah. a profession. We'll, we'll start our next segment with that. We'll take a commercial break, and we'll come back and show you what we're talking about.
Lake Martin Dave Leary, the Chamber of Commerce. You know, I, I love talking about them because we know we know everything that's going on with those folks at Dable. And we know that they want you involved uh, in, in, in their uh, organization. Uh, you can be a, a member, be a part of the team of leaders, uh, and bring the, uh, the community together in fun and exciting ways. See, no pressure, no, 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 no pressure at all becoming a member of the Lake Martin Davel Area Chamber of Commerce. Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Finding a job might be tough, but starting your new career has never been easier. Wellborn Cabinet in Ashland has a wide array of career opportunities with benefits. General labor production, skilled cabinet builders, product assembly line, shipping, over-the-road truck drivers, clerical, marketing, security, daycare, office clerks, and so much more. Apply in person, 38669 Highway 77 South in Ashland, or online at wellborn.com. Building cabinets, building careers, and building our community. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. The food at Oscars Cafe makes your mouth water. At Oscars, enjoy great tasting catfish, or maybe you're just in the mood for one of Oscars fresh salads. Even kids know the place for a fine meal is Oscars with a great kids menu. Oscars also has great tasting burgers full of backyard flavor. So come on out to Oscars Cafe for great food and homegrown hospitality. We're located on Highway 49 South in Dayville, just before the Blue Creek Bridge. And remember, it's all fun and games till there's only one cheese ball left. Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 742, 45, somewhere, 642, whatever time it is, it's time to get back <laughs> with the show right now with Mr. Randy Anderson from Randy Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. We talked about a video uh, before we left 
So let's just start off right now. So, Mr. Ryan, if you'll roll that video, we'd appreciate it. I'm Randy Anderson. Uh, I'm a funeral service professional, and I've been in funeral service for over 32 years. Going on 13 years. 10 years now. My entire life. 27 years. I started my career later in life. I wanted to be able to help families, and this was what God called me to do. I thought, well, that might be a career for me, and uh, I thought, well, if I do that, people think I'm weird. <laughs> so I went in another career path, and I did teach for about 10 years in the public school system. Got into the school system, had opportunity to come part-time to work at a funeral home, and just fell in love with what funeral service did for people. This profession, like many professions, uh, is a calling. From a young age, I, I saw that helped people, it helped people to heal. The most rewarding thing in funeral service is when a family comes back to you after you've taken care of them through the death of their loved one with their appreciation and their thanks. It'll be a little while after the service and they'll come up to you and they'll say, I just didn't realize how much we needed your support and needed the, the funeral home support. I feel like that that's the greatest honor. The impact that we have in this business for those that are dealing with death is being able to guide them. You're able to give them the knowledge and the ability to make an informed decision to honor their loved one's life and to know that they can do that regardless of situation. We say it's okay to cry by placing our Kleenex out on every table and everywhere you go you see a box of Kleenex. That tells people it's okay to cry. It's okay to be uh, to grieve and to mourn here. But that's that's why we're here. I believe somebody that is meant to do this. Um, it's just natural. I, I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. It's rewarding, both personally and, and professionally. I love my job. I love caring for families. I love caring for people and I love where I'm at. I've worked diligently uh, through the National Funeral Directors Association on the workforce issue. The driving topic of, of every uh, funeral meeting that I've been to is we can't find help. The need is, is tremendous, and it's not a local area, it's, it's nationwide, it's worldwide. People should join this profession because it is the most rewarding career that you could ever imagine having. If you're looking for something rewarding, if you have that compassion, if you want to help people, if you want to be a help and a strength to people in a very difficult time in their lives, then you definitely need to come into funeral service. There's your success wow. team That's it. right there. That's the, those are the funeral directors that uh, were with us at the time, and uh, we've added one since yep. then. Regan Moreland came to us from Macon, Georgia, and uh, uh, she uh, uh, was very complimentary of that ad, too, uh, that, that, that uh, video, not yep. ad. But, uh, uh, yeah, people, uh, I don't think they fully understand what, uh, what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more than what they see. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know part of that was inside Redney. It all was, yeah. yeah. Even the, the, the piano? Yeah. That's really? how piano. See, yeah. I saw a part of it that made me think an old church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that I'm was all in, inside our funeral home. And, well, yeah. Who did? I got to ask Lee you. Lee Marketing did that. They, they did, did a great, did a great job. job. They did yeah. a great they, job. They, they have, have been really good to us and, and yep. provided a lot of good things for us. And I told, I, I sat down with Lindsay and told her what I was thinking and what I needed, and she pulled her team together. And, and, That's all uh, she needed. Uh, Lindsay yeah, Mitchell. You know, and they, they did it a really great job, and I really appreciate them and what they did for us there. We're so fortunate to have somebody like Lee Marketing and, and, and the people that they've had with them for many, many years. That tells me a whole lot. But then you think about a young family like Jacob and Lindsay Mitchell. Jacob's now the uh, president and CEO of our uh, Chamber of Commerce. Great fit. Right. They've got children. they bought into the business world here. Right. And then sitting down and ha having employees that can that's 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 a very professional it, job. It was a, it was a great job, better than, than anything I've seen anywhere else. Yeah, but we're we're going to share that in, uh, with our national organization sure. to, and hopefully they'll use it. Uh, you know, it's a it, it just kind of tells people how our people feel. Yeah, and uh, I I can tell you personally, and and I hear it from them all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't take lightly every time that phone rings. You know, we know uh, that that people are placing 
their ultimate trust in mm -hmm. us to take care of them, mm -hmm. regardless of the type of service that they want to have. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want to take care of all of them. Accommodate um, them. I think I told you a few weeks ago that Mr. Billy Radney told me, you, you take care of every family the same regardless of what they spend in yeah. your business. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. And, uh, good advice. Uh, it was a good advice, and it's just worked for, for for me for 28 years. I just celebrated my 28th anniversary. Well, congratulations! Brad, if you, congratulations. Home, you know, I yeah. I felt <clears throat> from every one of those uh, in, individuals right there that are part of Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home, I, I believed them. Oh yeah. I believe what they they said, and they they're right. Not any, not just anybody. Can do. It's what, a call. What do. It is yeah, a call. It is. And I've, I've, they do it right the first time. They do it right every time. Right. It has to be done that's right. right. The first we don't time. get a second get chance. No. That's where uh, I was going yeah. with yeah. that. Yeah. We, we talk about it all the time. There are no do-overs in that's our right. profession. Yeah. You know, you you got to get it right the first, first time. time. And uh, and we uh, hear that from families over and over and over again. You know, Job well done. Uh, we we uh, we have. Of course, some people, sometimes it's hard. Jesus couldn't please everybody, you know, so we don't expect to either, but, yeah. but we're going to do our doggondest to please I know, everybody. I know you, you are. Know, so. And, God, I, 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 it's, I can't think of a more personal uh, relationship that y'all have with the your hate to cop with the people you deal with. Right. It, it's, it becomes an intimate relationship it because we're dealing with, with sensitive situations, mm -hmm. you know. That's right. And I, I've told my folks time and time again, if you don't feel like you're part of the family when you finish that service and you hadn't done your job, yeah, yeah. you know, you got to get down there with them or, or up there with them yeah. wherever they are and, and, and be a part of what they do. You know? Have you shown that yet to the national? No, I haven't. I haven't shared wow. it. That's the, first, that's the first public viewing of it. Yeah. Great, great. Thank uh, you for Our folks us, have looked at it. Yeah, so. thank you all for being letting Front us Front porches build. first. So. Well, yeah, thank <laughs> you. Appreciate you letting us be in it because yeah. that <laughs> means a lot. But I, I think about these other, whether it's uh, uh, no, no matter what state you're in, out, out west, uh, north, no matter where you are, they're going to come away with that, hey, we're not doing something right, right here. Yeah, well, maybe they are, and there are a lot of funeral homes that are doing some good things. Yeah, you know? Well, I know they are. And uh, uh, but if you notice, we didn't put a, a name on there. We didn't have uh, Radney Funeral Home or Langley Funeral Home. Mm -hmm. It's a generic, uh, just just so anybody could use it and and hopefully promote uh, funeral service. Yeah. And, and that's that's what I wanted to do out of that. Well, I think you certainly accomplished that with it. Yeah. It's you know it's, yeah. it's top drawer. Uh, I, yeah, I got some of the best promoters that you could have, you sure the people do. that work with me yeah. every day, and, yeah. and uh, they work together well, and and, uh, and then, like I said, we brought Regan in, and she fit the first day, you know, yeah. so yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, that makes you feel it, good. It makes me feel very good. As far as a, yeah. a, a, a good hire. Yeah. Thank you so much for oh. letting us, uh, allowing us to show that. It's that my was, pleasure. That was a, a but top you're sitting here thinking about what am I going to do for the rest of my life, and you're a young person, yeah. get in touch with Randy. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till after Christmas, because he's ready for Christmas with his family. And I know on behalf of Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home, he wishes Amen. everyone everybody, a very Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a healthy and happy Christmas. Merry Christmas for my friend. Thank you. Look Thank forward you. to 2023, which is right around, around the corner. We'll be right back. Coons corn. My wife, I, Ella, was out and about yesterday. I put her to put her out in the, the real world. Went, went by Coons corn. Got me some scalloped potatoes, some green beans, and some cherry cobbler. Now that was yesterday. Today is meatloaf and mac and cheese, steamed veggies, cream corn, mashed potatoes. I can tear those up. Field peas and bread pudding. Breakfast is being served right now at Coons corn. <laughs> For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, 
and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. And obituaries are brought to you by our friends at Redding Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. Funeral search for Mr. Milton F. Hill, 86, of Alexander City, will be at 11 o'clock this morning at the chapel of Redney Funeral Home. The burial will follow in the Hillview Memorial Park. The family will also receive friends this morning at Redney Funeral Home from 9.30 to 10.30. Redney Funeral Home is in charge of that service. And a funeral search for Mrs. Audrey Catherine McCook, 89, of Goodwater, will be at 2 o'clock this afternoon at the chapel of Radney Funeral Home. Burial will follow in the Mount Olive First Baptist Church Cemetery in Coosa County. The family will receive friends uh, from noon until 1.30 at Radney Funeral Home. Radney Funeral Home is in charge of that service. And a memorial search for Mr. John Wilton Doc Peters, 90, of Davidson, will be tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock at the new site United Methodist Church, the family will receive friends also tomorrow from 1 to 2 at the new site, United Methodist Church, Radney Funeral Home is in charge of that service. And a memorial service for Mr. Eddie Joe Easterwood, 68 of Alexander City, will be at 1 o'clock tomorrow at the chapel of Radney Funeral Home and burial will follow in the Rocky Creek Cemetery. The family will receive friends from noon to 1 at Radney Funeral Home tomorrow and Randy Funeral Home is in charge of that service. To these families and to other families that have lost loved ones, my heart goes out to each and every one of you. To the men and women that are fighting for our freedom, God bless you, boys and girls, and we'll be right back. Get ready to walk on the wild side at Sure Shot Outdoors. Hunting season is finally here, and it's time to stock up on everything you need this year. With a great selection of hunting rifles and shotguns, SureShot Outdoors is ready to get you prepared for the season. We offer everything from feeders to climbing stands and sportsman condos. Plus, we have a wide variety of browning chairs and a full line of apparel to get you ready for the hunt. Visit us on Highway 280 in Alexander City today. Looking for an attorney you can trust for your real estate closings? Wisdom Law Firm at Lake Martin has you covered. Your real estate transactions are fast, convenient, and professional every step of the way. Wisdom Law is certified and licensed by the American Land and Title Association and approved by all local lenders. Visit Wisdom Law Firm at 6366 Highway 49 in Dadeville or at their Auburn location at 2353 Bent Creek Road. No communication concerning a lawyer's legal services shall be published or broadcast unless it contains the following language, which shall be clearly legible or audible as the case may be. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is great than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. Life's too short for bad appliances. Let Tapley Appliance Center in Alex City give you the long-term relationship you need in your next appliance purchase. Tapley sells only the best brands like Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Amana, and Maytag. And with Tapley, you get better selection, quality, and warranties, as well as professional delivery and installation. Tapley knows you're going to be happy long-term because our brands are built for the long run. Tapley Appliance off Cherokee Road in Alex City. Call 256-329-9 762 for superior selection, value, and service. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20 mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? Well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this it's public transportation. Their number to call is 256-329-8444. Grace's on Hillaby Street is saying Santa is coming in bunches this year to help you with your Christmas shopping. Stocking stuffers of pecans, Christmas trees of red and white, decorative tree ornaments, beautiful wreaths of all sizes, green plants to add to your home decor, and Christmas figurines to top your Christmas decorating off. The girls at Grace's Flowers are ready. Are you 256-234-4238. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years. Federally insured by NCUA. 
Carlisle Heat and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Daveville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Seven o'clock on the first day of um, winter. Hey, let me make a correction on an obituary. Memorial search for Mr. John Wilton Doc Peters, 90 of Davidson, will be next Thursday. Next Thursday, the 29th at 2 o'clock, the New Site United Methodist Church. My apologies to the family and to Radney Funeral Home, uh, too. Just wanted to make that uh, correction. Uh, Mr. Um, Mitchell, I'm going to let you introduce our guest and what in the world are they out here for? Well, I'd be <laughs> delighted to introduce our guest. Hey, you know, the one right next to me is certainly no stranger to the front porch and no stranger to me. He and I have been friends for years. He's probably one of my very, very best friends. We're talking about Judge David Law. And Judge, tell us who the guy is next to you and what his claim to fame is. Well, <laughs> this is my buddy Mike Burdett. He's, his claim to fame is he's an all-around good guy, okay? Okay. Uh, like he hangs around you. He do, I, Sometimes even willingly. <laughs> so, so Mike's a great guy. I've known Mike uh, several years now, probably, I don't know, 10, 10 12 years. Mm -hmm. One of the nicest guys I've ever known. Mm -hmm. His heart's always in the right place. Mike has a big heart for uh, trying to help the community in public service and been a law enforcement fire chief and uh, paramedic and volunteer for whatever needs to be uh, doing. He was also the grand marshal of the Ashton Christmas parade this year. Congratulations. Well, y'all share his, something in common yeah. here. His most, his most recent claim to fame is Mike is a master distillery, stiller with a, uh, on the TV show Moonshiners, and he has his own legal uh, brand of K-Bug. And I'll let Mike tell you a bit about that. So is K-Bug the name of the... It is. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you for having us. No, I, hey, I, I appreciate y'all giving us the opportunity. It's well, always congratulations yeah. on your 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 win too. Thank you, thank you. We, we, if y'all want to, we'll talk a little bit about that. But to answer your question, uh, we went legal December 11th of last year, and uh, at Cahaba <laughs> Cahaba Distiller. You sound funny to me. <laughs> You sit next to a lawyer. To that's a judge. right. You went legal. A judge. That's a legal disclaimer oh, yeah. right there. Well, you know, yeah. we we were on the show about two years ago. Uh, they they actually come to my house and we filmed, and they were looking for some grain that I I could provide for them, and that was kind of our first kick with the Discovery Channel, mm -hmm. uh, and then here recently uh, the legal brand has just been taken off, and and uh, to be honest with you. We can't make enough. We're selling more than we can make in Birmingham. Let, let me ask you a question. You say grain. Mm -hmm. You talking about corn? Yeah. Or is it a certain type corn? Well, moonshine can be made out of just about anything. Really? I mean, just about anything that will it ferment. Will ferment. Uh, but, but the special stuff they were looking for when they come in, we found at the house was a, a malted or sprouted grain. And see, in Virginia, it snows and gets so cold. That's just different times of the year. Yeah. They, they just don't have an opportunity. So they drove 750 miles one way to pick up 4,000 pounds of grain. Wow. So, From you? Well, actually, I, I, I had a connection. Okay. 
on down toward Montgomery. That uh, that's what, what they do. What made you <coughs> even think about something like this? Uh, well, the idea, because <laughs> well, since we're being honest out here, were you making it illegal? But I wouldn't answer that. <laughs> well, I would say no. <laughs> My granddaddy did. My granddaddy. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I love stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, my granddad started during Prohibition. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, he made illegal liquor. And uh, I was, I was the did same your time. granddad teach you? We or talked about share? it, and, and but he gave me half a recipe, and I had to figure the rest out. Really? Why only a half? What was your granddad's name? Hey, Jesse well, Burdett. Hey, don't Uncle Jesse. Me. Uncle Jesse. That's Uncle right. Jesse. I love it. All right, well, your, your question, sir. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Now I'm messing with Kenny. Uh, Why did he just give you a half a recipe? Well, I, he always told me. He said, "Son, you, I don't. That's not a path you need to go down." He said, "During Prohibition, he." He seen his first moving vehicle when he was nine years old. Mm -hmm. He grew up in the woods. He was born in the mountains. In Clay uh, County? It actually, in Talladega, Clay, and Calhoun all come together yeah, in a place right. called Duck Nest Springs. Duck Nest Springs. Kane Tuck and Duck Nest Springs. I thought I knew every place in the state of Alabama. I, I don't dope. know where that, this that's is. That's where he was born. Uh, and uh, he, uh, you know, he, he was an incredible guy. If, if, you, if you've ever seen Popcorn Sutton and the old videos of Popcorn, yeah, yeah. my granddad was a spitting image of, po of Popcorn minus the beard. They uh, had about the same build, about 160 yeah. pounds, mm -hmm. fight a bus so mm -hmm. couldn't scare him. Mm -hmm. He told me stories, you know, not only moonshining, but he got bit by five poisonous snakes in his life and never went to a doctor. I be darn. And to the day he died, he swore we'd sit on the porch and mosquitoes would be dragging everybody off and he, they wouldn't bite. <laughs> he swore up and down that's because of snake because venom. Because of snake. Heck yeah. So, you know, they, they, all kind of stories. That Have you ever been bit by porch? No. No. Why was he bitten by so many porch? I mean, what, was he just out in the woods all the time? I, he never really went into details of how it all happened. He, he just, he, he told me, I, I, was he in the woods moonshining? Was he, was he in the creek swimming? I, I really don't I'd know. I'd be darned. Yeah. Well, but uh, he. Well, uh, I've heard him about him what part of the? Uh, get back to that recipe yeah. because the making of or the the brewing or distillery is a craft. It is. It a, is. It's, it's a learned craft, and uh, most of the things that he didn't add was amounts. But of course, amounts are going to change depending on the size of the pot. Mm -hmm. So if you're dealing with a 20 gallon pot, then you're going to have 28 pounds of corn, 30 pounds of sugar. The yeast and 20 gallons of water. I be, you know what 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 you're wow. saying is kind of what we've all, of course we're all older than you, of course Terry and I, uh, but what you're saying, so many people, our parents, our grandparents, they had recipes, but a lot of them was right up here, yes, a pinch of this, a pinch of that, yes. and it was delicious. So, so he did, so he left behind a a a a. Um, some directions, but only half, and he wants you to figure out the rest of it. I, he, he, he always tried to tell me, I, you need to stay away from this. You need to go in okay. a different direction. He didn't yeah. want him to figure out the rest oh, of it. Okay, yeah, you. all right. I'm, That's the thing. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, again, 25 years of law enforcement. I was a deputy sheriff, You've seen drug it. task force, mm -hmm. did all that stuff. and you know, Drug court coordinator for us. He ran our drug court program yeah. for years, too. Uh, but to, to, so, so you've seen real steals. Uh, oh, yeah. Have you busted real steals? I have never. Okay. I've never in my law enforcement career. Is, is it as uh, big these days as it was many, many years ago? I mean, is it too much trouble to go through now? Because you can buy it legally. Well, I tell everybody, there ain't nothing easy about moonshine. Yeah. Nothing. No. Nothing is easy about the process. Nothing. I mean, you've got to wait seven days on the mash to, and, you know, I had the opportunity to be involved with some of the, the guys on the TV show, and uh, mm -hmm. and they all tell me now. I mean, I talked to them pretty regularly. You know, you did it right. You went legal first, and then you're now you're you've got your own legal brand. Mm -hmm. I can go make it legally. I can sit there. I don't have to look over my shoulder wondering if somebody's coming through yeah, the woods or, or or the police is going to pull up because mm -hmm. it's illegal, just as legal as any other legal business. Mm -hmm. Um, but so, it's legal when you make it under controlled conditions, and I mean, you couldn't, you still couldn't get out in the backyard and do it. No, no, yeah. no, mm -hmm. absolutely not. I have everybody, everybody asks me all the time, "Hey, you, you, you got to steal over at your house because I kind of live in the wood." No, I, I, I wouldn't jeopardize my, no. my legal standing because well, right. the federal government tracks me with a number. Mm -hmm. They know every time, every ounce of grain they I use. They kind of want that tax off of it. Absolutely, yes. that's I mean, the that's, name of the game. That's where it goes. That's you follow the, it back to. Well, it's kind of like legalized marijuana these days. I mean, you know, 
if you go through the process that's right. legally, that's right. you can grow your own sure. for medicinal you know purposes. Sure. A lot of folks do that. And I had a buddy of mine that tried it, and he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. And he, he was going through doing the whole thing right, but he left out one ingredient. He didn't have anybody to sell it to after he had mm -hmm. all those acres raised. So, so Where was he doing this? In, in, in Tallapoosa County. Not legally. Yeah, yeah. We'll, I'll tell you about it later. Andy Tucker. Uh, oh, Andy Tucker. Uh, Dave was going to protect the innocent no, here. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he went to, you know, Montgomery and did all the paperwork, and, you know, they had to do a background check. Oh, and that's news to me. Huh? That's news yeah. to me. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, back to the <laughs> back to the, to the the distillery. How long do you age it? Uh, you, you said you started your brand two years ago? Uh, December the 11th was one year, so we just, k -Bug just turned one year old. Okay. We just went about the one year mark. Uh, we're working on some stuff. We're working on, uh, of course, the recipe that I win with on Master Distillers. Is, of course, I've, I bet you I've had 400 texts or private messages on social media. Hey, where, how can I get some of that peach? And I was like, well, you got to let me get it made first. Wow. We got to get labels approved. I mean, there's a whole big line of things. You just don't go over there and say, I'm going to make grape today or I'm going to make huckleberry or blueberry or whatever. It's a, you have to apply for everything from the federal government. You got to turn in recipes. You got to create a label. They have to approve the label. So there's a process to it. Uh, so, you know, we're probably looking at the earliest being mid summertime before I'll That's have great. that peach out. Folks, don't know going anywhere. We got a lot more questions to ask. Take, take it away there, Mr. Coos County. We know about Forbes Auto Sales. What, you, Danny Hayes talked about it yesterday. <laughs> he talks about them being home-owned, home-operated, and he knows the family for years and for decades. Look, you're looking for a good, clean, used car. This is the place to go. Why? Because they handpick their cars. They don't just hire somebody to ship them in. They pick out what their customers want, and they provide the sales and the service after you make the purchase. Go by and see our friends at Forbes Auto Sales and... On behalf of all of the staff at Forbes Auto Sales, Merry Christmas. Don't you put that fire out. I'm talking about Fire Truck Barbecue has brand new hours in downtown Alexander City. 1030 to 5, that's 1030 to 5, Monday through Friday. You're talking about good food, vegetables, and all the meats, and the cornbread, and they cater also year-round at Fire Truck Barbecue. So if you've never been, check it out today, 1030 to 5, Monday through Friday, downtown LX City. Life is a sequence of little successes. The story of my Southern Union success began the day I walked on campus. Making new friends, mastering a new skill, reaching a personal goal, the encore performance, the first date, the internship, and now, soon, the dream job. That's the story of my Southern Union success. Register for classes and get ready to watch your Southern Union story come to life. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritons, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last. Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Hey, this is Doug Roberts, long-term resident of Alexander City. I sold my house with Century 21 Lake Area Realty because all my life I had heard that to sell a house, you need three things. Location, location, location. I found out there's actually four. You need location, 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 and Rhonda Gaskins at Century 21 Lake Area Realty to sell your house fast. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644.
For years, Tom Watley's been a name you can trust to represent you. And now you can depend on Tom Watley Law, LLC, to handle all of your legal needs. Tom has over 20 years of practicing criminal defense, probate needs, and estate planning. Tom Watley Law supports the communities of Lee and Tallapoosa County and can handle all your legal needs or refer you to their network of specialty attorneys. When it counts, call Tom Watley Law, LLC at 334-559-3420 or online at TomWatleyLaw.org. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan. This unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sale. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Well, it's uh, 41 degrees right now. It's going up to 54, and it's going to be cloudy. Really no rain today. Tonight, 42 for a low, about a 20% chance of rain. Really, really nothing. And this is really, I, I guess we can say we're glad. This oh, yeah, I'm glad to see that rain go down. Changed. Uh, tomorrow, a uh, high 58, low of 18. And we are under a uh, flash, not flash fleas, uh, under a um, hard, wa- hard, hard freeze, freeze advisory. watch right now. Uh, to, so Friday morning, Friday, it's going to be sunny, 24 for a high, 12 for a low. Saturday, Christmas Eve, 30. Hey, Santa, you better put some antifreeze in that sled. 30 for a uh, high, 17 for a low, 36 and 21 on Christmas Day, 42 and 27 as we hit a, hit a heat wave on Monday. Five-day forecast brought to you by Dunning Roofing in Jackson Gap, Alabama. Man, we're having a, uh, we, this. This is different. This is real, real good. Different. Mike Burdett out here, and the one and only Judge David Law, uh, talking about your. Well, we can say it's it's, it's a new, uh, brand new. Uh, t- tell me the name of it again. Master Distiller. Yeah, uh, but mm, Bug. K-Bug. 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 My okay. my legal brand. K-Bug. 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 And I missed out on it. And I'm so sorry you all lost a. A daughter, yes, uh, at thirteen, yes, sir. Uh, and, I, and I love you, carrying on a great tr- tradition. Is that what y'all called her? Well, she, like I said, when she was born, her name was Kaylee. But I, when she before she could ever walk, I, I just kind of nicknamed her oh, Kaylee. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd play with her, and you yeah. know, as she grew up, and uh, up until the day she passed away. So, her mother and I just decided when we had this opportunity for the legal brand, and you know, we were sitting around thinking about a name, and I thought about Grant, Gramps or my mm-hmm. granddad, and mm-hmm. I said, well, I think it would be a, a way for us to honor Kaylee. Oh, heck yeah. So uh, yeah. that's where K-Bug come from, and, uh, you know, and this, the bottle, it's got a little story on the back, oh, and I, I wish I'd have thought and brought some. I just, I, things have been, so, ever since this TV show aired, especially that, and we had a chance to be lucky and fortunate enough to win, uh, I mean, my, Things have been kind of crazy for me. Let me ask you something, Mike. Yes, How sir. in the world did they find was, you to do something like this? Because you're talking about a nationally televised program. That's that's big time. Uh, 10.3 million people average watching that show every week. That is, we got what ten like 10.4. Yeah, we're well, a little that's better 10.4 than that. people. <laughs> no, 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 no thousands, no, no million. Uh, we appreciate all of you. <laughs> yeah, but but we do. back to answering wow. your question, uh, uh, you know, it's an application process. Uh, now, I've known some of the guys, and I think probably me filming a year and a half before that uh, on Moonshiners yeah. 
Hack gave me an opportunity to to kind of get in the door, so, and then and then you go through a you go through a screening process. I mean, you have to take a background check, sure. and I was like, well, y'all know I'm law enforcement, but and I couldn't really figure out. And then the nice lady from New York City, she said, well, we want to make sure that we don't get somebody that's been convicted sure. of something or somebody that's done something that's and uh, everybody that goes on that show has to have a background check. That's good business. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, you know, you, you, I'm sure you appreciate that. You sure. understood sure. Uh, that. Sure. Sure. So, sure. So well, you knew where, Tim, though. Well, I, I, I did. Tim Smith, uh, uh, me and Tim go back. Uh, he's a fire chief, and I was a fire chief, mm -hmm. and that's kind of how we met. Uh, our wives are friends now, and we exchange Christmas cards, and our, our kids are, are friends. And, uh, I mean, we just became close. Uh, I had the opportunity to travel with him a, a good bit. Mm -hmm. uh, because as his notoriety and popularity went up, uh, Discovery Channel wanted somebody to kind of security. If he if he goes into a place yeah. and has an issue, just somebody to kind of be there sure. with him. So I had the opportunity to travel with him a good bit. Uh, uh, and then once I retired. Now, where's Tim from? For Tim, he's from uh, Climax, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, so Tim, where do y'all do the filming? Uh, we actually filmed in uh, Newport, Tennessee. Where, where's Newport? Almost in, I mean, you just can throw a rock and hit North Carolina from Newport. Okay, it's up no, in that eastern, very eastern, eastern part. Northeastern. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, it's right down the street from Old Port. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 when, you, when you do the filming, is it inside a building? Is it outside or both? Uh, we started outside and we ended up inside. Okay. Now, everything that you see on, on the show is done legally under a legal distiller's license and mm -hmm. property. And, and under the watchful eye of the government. I I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, what, what has to be all legal about it when, when they're showing that? What, what? Uh, basically, you know, those steels have to be registered with the TTB. I mean, there's all kinds okay. of legal stuff that, uh, that are, they wouldn't even, they, they couldn't even try to air that. A lot of paperwork? Uh, not on, the, not as far as on the contested mm -hmm. side. Now, <clears throat> once we got on through the show, uh, you know, you go through phases, mm -hmm. and if you hadn't, if you hadn't seen it, I, I encourage you. I to, want to, yeah. I, it, I, the next airing is Saturday night at eight o'clock for right. my episode. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, okay, good. Uh, but that'd uh, be a nice thing to watch uh, on Christmas while it's, Eve. While it's, <laughs> while it's, while it's kind of cold outside. Yeah, too, exactly. Set by the right. fire. You know uh, how to record stuff on the TV? Oh, heck yeah. Well, do that. Yeah. You won't be awake by that late. Yeah, but I, I do a lot of recording. I know. I so know. you have to record. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, on Saturday night <laughs> at that time, he's marinating ice cubes. I can tell you yeah, what yeah. he'll be doing. Mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, sometimes 7.01. <laughs> uh, hey, but, yeah. Mike, but when you're, it takes a process to distill, and I hate to get in the weeds, but when you when you bring the, the grain and the barley and the wheat, whatever you're fermenting, mm -hmm. how do you control what's happening to it? Because you have to wait. A well, week, two weeks for it to ferment based upon temperature and other things. So. Right. Uh, K-Bug, and is, I'll just use this as a, K-Bug is a one grain moonshine. Okay. It is a one grain, it's corn. Mm hmm And then the, the and that, Was that what you cooked when you won was the, uh, was the K-Bug I started with that and then I turned it into something else. I turned it into a peach brandy. And by winning, I have a limited run at Sugarland Distilling Company in Gatlinburg, they're going to release, they're going to release Mike Burdett's Firehouse Peach Brandy. Wow. I think that's going to be the name. I mean, that, that may change, but I, matter of fact, I got a text last night from Sugarland. Uh, I've got to give them a grain bill and an amount, and I've got to go from we was we was using 20 gallon pots on the show to a 750 gallon pot. So I've wow. got to I've got to figure it. They're gonna make that big of a run of. of so the, a 750 gallon pot would produce about how much? Uh, product? Uh, Is it 50 percent? No, probably 125 gallons after Whoa. it's proofed. Maybe. Is, is it all white? Oh, uh, dark. It's white. Okay, it's okay. clear. How about the peach? The peach Even is with clear. The peach really? And you can smell it, and it's, it's peach on the front, peach on the nose, peach on the back, peach in the middle, finishes off smooth, about 90, 95 proof, and it's just it's a solid drink. I mean, I knew when I tasted it, I was like, God, I, can't I'm like that. I can't believe I made that, but it tasted really good. I be done. So let me ask you, that, that one grain, mm -hmm. dumb question here, can you, with that one grain, can you use that same grain to, to grow regular corn or... Corn on uh, the corn that we get actually is grown in Clay County. Oh, really? Cobb buys the corn from a farmer in Clay County. They take it over. They buy the 
and they grind it, they take it over there, and then uh, it goes through the process of becoming moonshine. Does he grow the corn just for the, the moonshine purpose? Yes. Okay. I know we got to go to break. i got a thousand questions. It's Dave, interesting. Th this is uh, like saving. It's a process. It's a process. We'll be right back. <laughs> so busy you got time to talk i've always got time to talk about my friends at coosa valley respiratory and home medical we're talking about mel palmer we all know mel palmer and we know what a great guy he is listen if you've got any questions about respiratory needs or home medical needs this is a guy that'll that'll put it all to rest for you he'll be there if, if questions pop up while you're using the equipment and look don't worry about the cost he takes your insurance call him today 256-245-1411 General's Cafe, Highway 22 in Newside, Alabama, is ready for you to come see them today. Meet and three on Sundays only. If you've never had their meet and three, you owe it to your whole family to take them up there. And also specials each and every day. Let's talk catering, because that's something they do a lot of for all different size events. 234-2121, General's Cafe, 256-234-2121. Morris Haynes Law Firm in Ellick City has had a fantastic 2022. Morris Haynes has settled cases totaling over $7 million and has tried cases in five different counties from Mobile to Etowah, where Alabama juries have awarded over $5 million. If you, a family member, or a friend is harmed by the wrongdoing of another, please consider giving Morris Haynes a call, 256 329-2000. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dadeville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Lake Martin Building Supply, located on Davil Road and Alexander City owners, Tiffany and Michael Huff, believe in constantly improving their inventory for you. From deer corn, feeders, to Valspar paint, to top quality lumber, and RV section, Lake Martin Building Supply welcomes each customer that comes through the door with a warm hello and a pleasant goodbye, and a come back to see us real soon. That's Lake Martin Building Supply, Davil Road. Call today, 256-234-5500. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and sitter services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is ready for Christmas and to see you. Christmas trees with every type ornament under the North Pole. Even Frosty the Snowman is getting in on the excitement. Christmas frames, special wooden displays, stocking stuffers, and table displays to fit special occasions. Hoping this is a glorious Christmas and holiday for you and your family. Merry Christmas to you all from Jackson Drugs. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon at Cornerstone Insurance. Are you tired of paying too much for your home and auto insurance? If so, give us the opportunity to help you. At Cornerstone, we have three goals for all of our clients. Asset protection, affordable pricing, and superior customer service. Come by and give us a call today to see what we can save you. 153 Alabama Street, 256-409-2299.
<laughs> hey, welcome back to the front porch. You know what I was just thinking about? It's 730, but I was just thinking about We have Judge David Law out here, and we ain't really let him say we, we anything We ain't let him say yet. a word, have this we? This may be a first. It, it probably is. My wife, if she were awake, would be because. astonished that I've gone this long without hardly saying anything. Well, I'll kind of turn it over to you, too. Yeah, you, for a minute. We yeah you've gone 29 minute minutes and didn't yeah. say a word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't mind because uh, – Mike's way more interesting. He's got um, than I am. So, but I do have a couple of things I like. One I like to say happy birthday to my good friend Greg Barner. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, yes, Greg! So anybody in Clay County or wherever, uh, run into Greg or Kelly. Tell go him ahead and birthday. call him this morning and wake him up and wish him a happy. He's probably birthday. if I know Greg, he's probably up and already doing some research. You know, knowing Greg. But a uh, couple of things I want to let everybody know that the courthouse will be closed in Clay County on Friday and Monday. Um, Friday, as you know, it's going to be very cold. There is no heat in the courthouse wow. other than the courtroom. And it's been that way about six or seven, maybe eight weeks now. Mm. And so it's the, the commissioners agreed to uh, close the courthouse because of that. And I, mm -hmm. I closed the county, the state office, the, the county commission closed the uh, county office. So if you need a car tag or something, Get it uh, for Friday. Or pay your property taxes, which will mm -hmm. be due by the end of the month. Right, mm -hmm. so, but it'll be closed on Friday. It'll be too cold to get out anyway. And also, the uh, Coos County Circuit Clerk's Office and Judge's Office in Coos County will also be closed on Friday and Monday. So, just want to let everybody know that. Um, that's kind of what's going on. But other than that, other than my wife had shoulder surgery last week, I've been playing nurse. Is she doing okay? She's doing really good. good. Went back for a follow up. Um, she's about where she can drive. By herself now, she can probably drive by herself in Coos County. I didn't want to drive her by herself in town in case she needed to use both hands, you know, snatch the wheel or something. Yeah. So, Dave, we don't know how much we uh, appreciate when we got all of our faculties with her with her shoulder. I just had a buddy, my LD Benton, and he's he's had a tough time uh, with with his. So I guess it just affects. She's doing good. good. She had, uh, she started doing any physical, tears? Start started physical therapy. Started yet. physical therapy the next day. Wow. We, she had yeah. surgery last Tuesday. Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock, she was at physical therapy. Wow! Yeah. And uh, get her on in there. But she's doing she's doing really well. Um, I'd say she's a good fifty percent okay. back to That's good. Uh, full use. Very, very I'm gonna say no pain, but very little severe pain. Mm -hmm. uh, she can't take pain medication either. So. Oh really. Uh, she's allergic to all that stuff. The only thing she ever took, could ever take without making her sick, I think, was Darvocet. They took it off the market years ago. So she had a C-section and a uh, shoulder surgery, both without pain medication. She's wow. a lot tougher than I am. Not at the same time. No, not at the same time. <laughs> she's a lot tougher than I am. I can no, tell you that. She's tougher than a lot of folks. Yeah, she is so. tough. Just, well, what was that? Just you take said her they took little, little K-bug and that'll I'm sorry? What did you say they took off the market? Darvocet. I need to you got some in I'm, your. I need to finish mine up real fast. Well, I tell you, we can use it if you got it. <laughs> if you got some, it's probably not really any good at this point. It's been off the market quite a while now. I, I, I don't know. I, I, with all that I've gone through, I've, I've been taking some pain medicine. I don't know the names of them. I just take them when they tell me. Tell me to. Mike, this is this is quite a um, trip for us going down this lane with you uh, today. And uh, is this? Is this uh, would you would you, would your granddaddy be proud of you? Well, again, I don't want to. If for the ones that hadn't seen the show yet, I don't want. Okay, to, okay. I don't want to give away too no, much. No, no, yeah, thank uh, you. But but I, I I do make reference to him after I win. Okay. And I'll okay. just I'll I'll okay. I'll let you watch well, because now, yeah, it, and, and because thank you. And I told you we ask yeah. questions you don't answer. That, 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 I'm fine with that. And there's also a picture of him on there. Okay, You'll see great. a picture of him. I be darned. So uh, yeah, but it's a. Uh, uh, you know, it's been overwhelming, you know, and I've talked to a lot of people. i got friends that have won. As a matter of fact, one of the, the guy that won the very first one was from Carbon Hill, Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, Jimbo. Uh, mm -hmm. And How many Alabamians have won this? Uh, you know, we were, talk to now. we were talking about that. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think Alabama may be, may be leading the nation in winners of Master Distillers. You know what I'd read. Yeah. Uh, Just like football. That's yeah. right. I, <laughs> Now we got him awake. <laughs> well, Jim, you know, Jimbo make, makes a, re a reference to, uh, 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 in his episode, uh, you know, uh, Alabama's where champions are made on the football field and at the moonshine spell. 
He, he, make, he makes that did, reference. I love while your it. grandfather was living, did, did, you, did you distill anything while he was living so he could uh, No, it? no. I, I, he died when I was 16 or 17, but I do remember summer times I, after football practice, I would go get him. And I, he loved for me to ride him back over in the woods where he was born. And, and he was on, even on a cane. Uh, and this is six months before he died. And uh, he said, stop, stop the car. And I had an old cut-down Volkswagen. And uh, he'd ride around and drank beer. That's what he did. I like him. I, I knew I was going to like him for some reason. He rode around and drank beer, and I, I was the chauffeur. Yep. And he's, mm -hmm. we was in the woods. He said, stop. Get, just stop. And he said, get out. And he got out on his cane, and we walked. And it, it, it was kind of a gradual fall, kind of down like in a holler. Mm -hmm. And we walked about halfway down there. And I'll be dang, it was an old steel set. I'll be darned. Next to a creek or well, he had water supply? There was a pond up above, and he said that they would – Hose water down, okay. Yeah, but he was down kind of in a swag. Uh, he, knew, he knew. He knew. Uh, he remembered. He I remembered. Be darned. But he he showed me stuff like that. But as far as actually distilling with him, I, I never did distill with him. What what what's your yeah. next step after this airing? What 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 comes? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked me that. We we have. Uh, 2023 calendar is filling up fast. We've had uh, we've already been contacted uh, about some some other. Uh, things that, to come down the line. Uh, other shows, other TV uh, shows? Yeah, well, I, some more filming. Okay, okay. And, and because I hadn't signed anything, I don't want to get into it. I'm, in I'm, case. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, but personal appearances, I mean, uh, we've been invited back to Virginia with Chuck, Tim, and all those guys that's on the show. We were there last year, and we got invited to come back. Uh, we've got appearances in North Carolina, uh, Tennessee, and I'm, on, I'm I'm trying to do as much as I can at home in mm -hmm. Alabama because that's where I'm from and that's where K Bug. Uh, hopefully, we're hoping that by the end of the year to get K Bug in ABC stores, but uh, maybe by spring of the year. And that's again, that's another one of those processes. Mm -hmm. You got to go to ABC board, and you've got to go but through. But you got to have the inventory to send it to. Well, and that we started on a hundred gallon steel at Cahaba, and uh, the, the six hundred gallon steel is up and running now. So we've get, so gallons. we've got seven hundred total capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, can is this you, nationwide? Can you grow enough corn in Clay County to to? Uh, we probably to that's it? probably going to be all he can handle. Yeah, and we, we'll just have to get to that point. Uh, as far as nationwide, yeah, nationwide. Is it nationwide? No, uh, cable will be regional. It'll be my goals are to Alabama and every state that touches it. Okay, and that, you right got a right. five-year goal, a ten-year goal, yeah. and that's kind of the way I'm looking as to every state that touches. You got a plan? Wow. Well, you know, being a retired fire chief, I mean, that just comes from those days and yeah. working law enforcement. Yeah. You got to have, you can't go into something haphazard and not have a clue. You got to, you got to have some kind of guidance. And especially this. Because you're looking at it being done legal, and you also look at looking at it being done right. right. You, you've done, uh, you've done all that. Well, you know, Has he helped you at all? No, <laughs> the law man. No, I, I can, he's uh, just been a supportive friend. Well, that, that, that's that, that's that's a lot of help, and we right are there. too. I'll go ahead and uh, uh, speak for Terry too. You talk about something like this. Heck yeah, you got my vote. <clears throat> K Bug, I, I got to ask you a question right now, and I hate to put you on on the spot, Mike. Get more caps. <laughs> that game on caps. K bug. I'll get you one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'll get you one. I, I want that. <laughs> you make them that big. Huh? <laughs> Easy, law <laughs> man. Easy. The more he talks, the bigger his head swells too. So we need to we need to put elastic. What's back Christmas out. like at your house? Uh, well, the, the nest is empty, so it's just yeah. me and Mama, yeah. and uh, you know. Just like uh, after today, we get the grocery list done and we get all our running around done, and uh, we, we probably I'll probably be on the couch for the next 48 hours till this nine degree weather gets gone. There ain't nothing wrong with That's that. That's right. He, I like your plan. <laughs> I like your plan too. I mean, it, it, what a eventful life you've had. I mean, you 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 have dealt with sorrow. You you dealt with fame. Uh, this I mean this is is it changed you? No, I don't think so. I think the people that are closest to me know that I'm, I'm, I've always been this way. And, you know, it, it's a privilege and an honor to represent Barfield, Alabama, yeah. Clay County, yeah. East Central Alabama. You're uh, humble. And, uh, you know, it, it's just uh, – he, He's not changed since I met him. He's mm -hmm. the same old guy, good mm -hmm. guy. David told me that. I asked David that when we – when I after I first mentioned, he said, no, he's, he's the same guy I knew all my life. And you're from Barfield. 
I was actually born and raised in Oxford. We moved to Barfield okay. about 14 years ago, and that's when I met David. Okay. And all, and we've been in our new house in Barfield 14 years. Any regrets meeting him? No. <laughs> no. Hey, no. You were talking about you, you, you're being invited to make personal appearances. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys go for personal appearances? Do you speak to corporations or? Uh, actually, it's uh, the, the event in Virginia. There was uh, 4,500 people there last year. And like I said, now there's about eight or ten of the guys on the show. Tim, one of the most popular guys. Uh, Tickle, everybody knows Tickle. Tickle. Uh, you know, uh, Henry and Kenny Law, her from Virginia. Richard Landry from Maybe Louisiana. Maybe Kenny He might, they might be. Uh, uh, several of the moonshine. And it, it, I was very fortunate for us to get invited. And then uh, we got invited back this year, and that'll be in. Uh, well, is it to a conference or? No, it's actually at a distillery. Oh, the oldest okay. craft distillery yeah. in Virginia, and in, in the country is in Culpeper, Virginia. I be. Hey, don't go anywhere. We got a lot more to talk about. All right, Mitchell. Hey, it's my turn to talk about the Mitchell House. I'll talk about anything with the name Mitchell in it. Look, it's rich, rich in history. We're talking about a guy named Sidney Mitchell. You need to read about Sidney, but you need to go ahead and book your next big event at the Mitchell House. You'll have memories just like Sidney Mitchell had. Call them today, 256-307-1225, or go to MitchellHouseEvents.com. Brubaker, Brubaker Motors, Motors in Montgomery, Montgomery is the largest and fastest growing used car dealership in the River Region. You can absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. It's better at Brubaker.com. You can absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R. B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R.com. It's better at Brubaker.com. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton. They get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Something big is coming. Something so big, it'll change the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce. Because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. 
Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you what, we're having a, and I'll just tell him, Terry, I appreciate the uh, the folks he's brought out here to the to the show, Danny Hayes yesterday and other folks. I know we got a couple on uh, tomorrow that I've not met, and I just really appreciate what you're, you're doing because we, a front porch is people, and that's just what it's all about. I don't, you know, I don't care who it is. Uh, we just sit down and have a conversation, and you yeah, just, we don't have a lot of notes. We just no, no. we just start talking <laughs> about what my you notes talk about. Right but really, it's uh, uh, I hope y'all are enjoying these uh, great guests. And man, you you said you had some folks you you wanted to thank. I do. I, I, number, first and foremost, I want to thank y'all for having me. Yes, sir. And having the opportunity yes, and just representing East Alabama. Well, we want you to come back. Oh, I, I'd love the opportunity. I, as long as my you travel bring schedule. This guy, bring your driver with you. I'll yeah. do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I want to just thank everybody. I've, I've had people reach out to me that I hadn't talked to in a long time mm -hmm. and wish me, uh, th you know, just congratulations and good luck before, as I was going up there to compete. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, – it's been an outpour, and if you do social media, you know, and you'd like to follow us, Mike Burdett, Moonshiner, and Facebook and Instagram, and we we post everything where we're gonna be, what we got going on, and then hopefully here in the near future, I, I've got some other things that I can release that I just can't really talk about right now. Sure, you know, everything you you you've been who how'd you get so well trained in what to say and what not to say? Because that. That's never happened. Nobody ever told me what to say and what not to say. And it's caused me a lot of issues over the year, years, Mike. Well, you know, speaking in front of folks, you know, I was a fire instructor for 25 okay. years, so teaching class, and then I got my high school teaching degree, and I taught a fire really? science program in Pell City. Uh, I, you know, I try, always try to educate myself, and I, it's like I tell the kids when I was teaching, make yourself marketable. The more you can do, yep. the better off you're going to be. Yep. So that's kind of, I just try to live by the rules that I, I preach, but, and, you know, I enjoy teaching. I, I run for sheriff of Clay County election before this last one. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, I enjoy talking to people. And uh, Is it I, easy for you? It comes easy. Okay, yeah. Well, you can I tell can, it's easy. Yeah, He's got great delivery. But I can answer the question of how he learned to, to to know what to talk about and what not to talk about. Down at the bottom of that contract in real fine print, it says it's going to cost you three arms and two legs and your next six newborn if you do this and don't say it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you learn don't say it. Hey, I'm not David sure. Law taught me to read that fine print. I know. Um, okay, oh, here, we here. here we go. Thank you, Ryan. K-Bug, I love that. Now, so, that's in the, the corn that was grown in Clay County? Yep. That's that's at the distillery, and uh, we sh they, sh they shot a little promo commercial, and uh, I thought it was a good idea. Uh, uh, the head distiller over there, super super good guy, friend of mine, very smart guy. Mm -hmm. He he kind of set that little prop up, and I said, man, that looks good. That's that looks that's great. Really, it's well, the simple, shadow on it too. Corn moonshine. Dumb dumb question again. What's another ingredient you could say instead of corn moonshine? Oh, wheat. Well, I, it's not a wheat moon moonshine, is it? You could do wheat. Uh, multi-grain, you could have barley, rye, wheat, it could all be sprouted or malted, it could be just straight out of the field, give it a good washing, and get it to ferment. I be, how long does it take to ferment? 
Uh, different temperatures, di different times of the year, like in a controlled environment at a distillery, we're usually about, the K-Bug's usually about seven days. It usually takes about really? six Really? Okay, seven, I would think it has been, been a lo longer process. About seven days. Than, than now, if, you, if you're in the woods and it's 30 degrees, yeah. it may not ever ferment. Right. Yeah. I mean, it just, okay. it's, it's, temperature has a lot to do with fermentation. Warm? Hot? Uh, you want it to be on up toward oh, here the... We go. That's that's on the set. Okay. And that's that's two of my buddies there that I competed against. The guy in the middle, John Vince, is from uh, Ohio, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the guy on the right is Gabe, a uh, young guy, 24 years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, we all had fire department ties, and that that oh, was really? that was actually a firefighter challenge. Okay. It, it was firemen compete. Was that an old barn? Was it was, was that's that a in, set. in that's Newport? A, that's a set. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It was that was that in Newport? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, there's just, uh, there's us, at, that's actually filming, we're actually running, you see the film guy in, in yeah. front of us, I was actually down catching moonshine, I think, when he was filming. Was the filming anything that was uh, different to you? Uh, just the amount of cameras, there's probably 10 cameras in there. Oh, really? And sometimes they're closer than you and oh, I are yeah. sitting right now. Absolutely. And you've got to do your job. Absolutely. While they're right on top of you. I'll be darned. They took like 23 days of filming and condensed it to an hour episode, too, so keep yeah, that in mind. That, that editing part is what blows my mind. I mean, you know, we, we just sit out here and... Yeah. There's, there's the, the promo that you'll see. Firehouse Flameout's actually mm -hmm. the title of it. Was mm -hmm. that copper? Yes, it was. That still was copper. Master still of three seasons. Season four, episode six. Yep. I be darn. This is just... <laughs> this is just a head. head I'm check. glad you explained the SE E6. I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was a compass heading when I read it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, uh, those, those, uh, is, is that all the, the people? I, I, thank you, Holly. Thank you and Ryan for, for putting that uh, together because that's. Uh, I, I love the one with the, in the in the grain. That just that was just a that was neat, a classy neat, look. Yeah, uh, those are folks at Cahaba do a fantastic job as far as uh, promotions and uh, just a good group of people to work with. And uh, all right, explain what you just said. Now I'm a little confused. You're using a distillery in Tennessee. But well, you talked about Cahaba, if, which is Cahaba, in Birmingham, is it? Cahaba's kind of my home base, <clears throat> and I wanted to do it in Alabama. Okay. okay. Uh, by winning Master Distillers, once we were named Master Distiller, part of the prize of that is you get a limited run, 750-gallon mash pot of what I won with on TV, mm -hmm. and they'll run it at Sugarlands in I Gatlinburg. got you now. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a prize for winning. But, but mm -hmm. you own the license yourself to make it, not Sugarland. I own K-Book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sugarland's going. I'm basically they're going to pay me a percentage of every bottle that's sold. I got you. So where, where, where and you, you, maybe I've you've already answered answer this question. Where will it be distilled? Which one? Yeah, which one? That's why oh, I was. That's okay, right. so the, the one I the, won with on TV will be <clears> distilled in at Sugarland be, and Gatlinburg because that was part of the right. part of the but, contest. Okay. Yeah, that's what you oh, won. Okay. Part of the rules. Yeah. 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 Okay. But his K that Bug was, is distilled at Cahaba Brewing in. Uh, in Birmingham. Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Thank you for straightening me out. On so, that. so mm -hmm. after all, all the the TV runs, mm -hmm. where, where could you wind up? Would you have your own distillery in Birmingham, or what? Or, or is it hard the to say? The long term it? goal is, you know, I'm kind of one of these guys. I've had the same wife for 31 years. I've had my same truck. Uh, me and the judge has got the same model trucks, 2002. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't believe in changing. <laughs> and so, you know, when I committed with Cahaba. I mean, I'm not necessarily looking to leave there, uh, but we don't know what's coming down the road yeah. as far as my, my long-term goal. I'd love to own my own distillery. I want to talk wow. to you. I got some ideas for you. Oh, this is. Hey, we gonna take a commercial break and we go come back. And I'm, I hate tea, but we gonna have to wrap this thing up. Well, Carlisle, you, you talking about something that's been around for a while. What a uh, uh, tradition it is for so many. It's been there since 1914. It continues to uh, be a tradition, and especially during the holiday season. So many families that uh, come in from 
they've not lived here, here in a while, but they want to go to Carlisle. And, and Kenny Dean uh, uh, Jr. and his family, they're one of them. Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. No monthly payments until springtime at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. New Chevy Silverado 1500 trucks discounted up to $9,250 off. Chevy Equinox up to $5,500 off or payments as low as $369 a month. Shop online anytime at glennsmith.com. That's G-L-Y-N-N Smith.com. We have over 200 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way at Glenn Smith and Opelika. Get ready to smile. Folks around these parts have known for a long time that Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280, is your number one stop for automotive service and repair. At Walls Tire, you'll always find quality service at a fair price on everything from AC, name brand tires, big or small repairs, routine maintenance, towing, and more. When your car or truck needs to run right, there's one place in the area to go, conveniently located and easy to find. Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280. Area Real Estate. Bill Farr has been in the real estate business for over 30 years with an office in Sylacauga, but he covers the entire state of Alabama. Bill provides a full-service real estate company offering residential, commercial, and land sales. He also does property management throughout the state of Alabama. Bill Farr is also a certified real estate appraiser. Call Bill Farr today at 256-872-6208. For all of your real estate needs, that's Area Real Estate, 256-872-6208. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. While in Dable, Alabama, get off the roundabout and stop in Payne's Furniture. Donald Payne says right now the selection of couches with end tables is unbelievable. Comfortable bedding, rustic bedding, area rug selection like he's never had, beautiful dining tables, modern and rustic. Ask for about financing. Or if you want to call him, call him at 256-825-7727. That's Payne's Furniture in downtown Dable. Wintertime in the south is mild compared to other parts of the country, but we still tend to be less active and spend more time indoors. Show your heart some love this winter by getting it checked out at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heartrussell. With over 400 acres of available inventory, the Lake Martin Area Economic Development Alliance is proudly promoting our area as the nation's premier locate, live, work, and play destinations. Attracting industries that create good-paying primary jobs is a labor of love that takes all of us being proud and knowledgeable about what it is we have to offer here in Coosa and Tallapoosa counties. For more information, visit lakemartineda.com. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the front porch. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have this morning. David, it's always good to see you. Mike, I love your story. Mm -hmm. Guys, what else is going on with you? Uh, just trying to wrap up the year. Hopefully no more court unless something uh, well, you're gonna be, you're crazy gonna, comes you're gonna up. Both courthouses closed. Friday uh, and Monday. Clay and Coosa. And I, you know, I, I think it's important for the, I mean, it's mostly women there, but there's a few uh, guys at the courthouse that have time to spend with their family. That you normally get those two days off they happen to fall on the weekend and i, I felt like it was i appreciate you the, doing that the uh saturday and sunday uh friday and monday off and um 
because I'm doing most of the cooking and taking care of the kids and the families. So everybody needs to appreciate the wives, even more myself included. But I uh, do want to say Merry Christmas, to everyone, and, and just a, we all having a good time here. But just remember the reason for the season. Yep. It's not just about Santa Claus. That's exactly so, right. Everybody should remember that. Hope everybody has a safe Christmas and Merry Christmas. Mike, look forward to you coming out here again. Come back soon. again. Merry Christmas to you and your uh, family. And best of luck with everything. We'll tell you. We'll, we'll let you know. Discovery, December 31st at 8 o'clock. We'll be back tomorrow. Merry Christmas.